Jeremy. Well, right now, thank goodness, no homes or communities are in the danger zone. That's right, but there is concern that might not be the case for one facility near Mauna Loa. KITV Forest Tom George joined us now live in studio to explain. Tom. Yeah, we're talking about the High Seas Facility. It's used to train NASA scientists in a remote area that's among the closest thing we have to Martian terrain here on Earth. Now it's potentially in Pele's path, and that has scientists on edge. It's an out-of-this-world view. 8,000 feet high up on the slopes of Mauna Loa is the High Seas Space Simulation, where crews get to work with NASA and explore terrain similar to Mars or the Moon, all while cut off from the rest of the world. And they like to keep it that way. But even they can't escape Madame Pele. There's nothing really to do except uh, uh, watch and hope. Um, we weren't even able to get in and, and get any equipment or anything out. Luckily, there's no mission going on right now, so no one was in any danger, but models for the lava flow show the habitat smack dab in the middle of two vents. Chopper video taken today shows the habitat with lava looming in the background. If the flow from vent four picks up, then it will probably surround the habitat, hopefully not run over it. Investigator Kim Binstead from UH says some fresh volcanic rock will make their next mission even more exciting, assuming home base is still standing. The area where the HAB is is similar to the surface of a young Mars and the, the lava tubes, for example. We expect to see lava tubes uh, on Mars and on the moon for that matter. So, so no, uh, a near miss would actually be a positive. But as she waits and worries, like a true scientist, she'll be taking it all in, no matter what happens next. Nothing like a volcano going off. It's just, it's all inspiring. Yeah, and of course, hoping it'll still be standing. Meanwhile, the next mission is scheduled for the middle of next year. Now, if it is destroyed, though, they would have to get funding from the legislature. But again, they say they would have to cross that bridge when they come to it. Reporting live, Tom George, KITV4, Island News.